All right, good morning. And we'll start in seated meditation. And just so you know, one of the um, one of the things that I have offered is meditation on Instagram, and I'm doing one a week. And I did drop one this morning. So if our short meditation this morning doesn't do the trick for you, you can pull that up, and it's a it's about eight minutes. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to get completely settled in. And then take a few deep breaths. And y'all are really well, well trained. You've taken your seat grounded. Maybe a little extra attention to lengthen the spine. A little extra attention to drawing your head back in line with your spine. And set your hands as an anchor or grounding point, a place that you can bring focus back to if you get distracted. And let the breath be easy. Find some ease in your jaw. If in the quiet your mind has gone to tasks, take it back into right now. Feel your feet on the floor. Your bones and your block are on the floor. Your hands. Notice your hands touching each other or your own thighs. The sensation and the power in your own hands. And then intentionally expand your breath. And notice every body change with, with each breath. The sensation of the breath in the nose. The sensation of breath in your throat.
and in your chest. Notice the changes in your posture with an inhale or exhale. Maybe even tune in to the slow, slowing of the beat of your heart. Count five more breaths. Hands to chest center. Thumbs to forehead. Namaste. Child's pose. And drop right in. Extend your arms, deepen your breath. Create ujjayi breath powerfully, deeply, fully. Relax your jaw. Reach farther. Sits bones deeper onto your legs. Come up, high plank. Intentionally set up. Using the energy in your feet, hands, Thighs, shoulders, belly, and breathe. Your drishti is down. A little in front of your mat, untuck your chin, lift the back of your neck straight up, crown of your head forward. Wrap your shoulders on your back, breathe in. Out, in, out, in, down dog. Full Ujjayi breath. Three. Two, ragdoll. You can go forward or back, you get to choose. Find some ease in your upper body, allowing it to drape over your thighs. So I'm going to ask you to be responsible for your practice. If you know that you're caught up in your low back here, I want you to drop your arms forward and see if you can find more of a hang. So less rounding in your back. See if you can get a little bit longer. You'll bend your knees and you'll kind of use the floor to pull your chest down towards your thighs. 
Three more breaths. Two. Last one. You'll drop your hands. Heel toe your feet in a bit. Lengthen your spine. Fold. Root through the floor, rise up. Hands to chest center. One arm, breath in. Ah. Breathe in, reach up. Fold forward. Now lengthen your spine. Step it back to the low push up. Upward dog. Down dog. In. Out, step or jump. Lengthen. Fold all the way up, fold forward, lift and lengthen your spine, and then low push up, hold your drishti, up dog, look forward, down dog between your feet, in, out, step or jump. Lengthen, bow, all the way up, fold forward, lift, chaturanga, keep your drishti set, up dog, shift it, down dog, in, out, Go forward, lengthen, fold, mountain, fold forward, lift, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, step forward, lengthen, Fold, rise, fold, lift, chaturanga, up, down dog, breathe. Hold down dog, do headstand or handstand. Four more breaths. Three, two, last breath in. Use your exhale to come out of your pose, do your transition pose. And then we meet in down dog. Big breath. Breathe it out, step or float, lift and lengthen, bow. Come to chair, hold for a second, let it set up. You wanna set the pace for the rest of the class. Breathe and empty and breathe. Tailbone down empty. Reach your hands up, thumbs back. Fold, lift, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, warrior one, right leg forward, plant your foot, rise, couple breaths to set it, establishing it for the rest of the practice, right here, root in your back foot, 
full breathing. There's a lot of dumping in the front of the pelvis. I want you to lift from the pubic bone straight up. Like you're drawing, you're tightening a zipper from pubic bone to belly button. Empty. Last breath, go back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Same thing. Set it up. It's almost always the back foot that needs more attention. So root there and breathe. And then consider this, the pubic bone, like really press down in your left foot, lift the front of the pubic bone up like a zipper between the belly button and the pubic bone. Full Ujjayi breath. You will see more of this dumping in your back foot if you take the weight out of it. You have to push in your back heel, push down. Better, breathe in. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. One breath. And breathe it out. Step or float. Lift. Use your breath fold. Chair. And fold. Lengthen. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, warrior one. Come right back down, just stay with it. Use your breath, up dog. We'll meet up in down dog when it's over. Left side, warrior one, you're using your breath. Your breath is your pace, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. It doesn't have to match anyone else's. Together, we'll breathe in, then breathe out, step or jump. Lift and lengthen. This is the in-breath and fold. We sink it up in chair. Fold forward, empty. Lift and chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. You'll go warrior one right. One in breath, and then chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog, downward dog, left side. Chaturanga, up dog, and downward facing dog. And we breathe. Anytime you feel the breath get caught, and we all do, it's okay, you just reset and breathe in and out again. And you let your breath lead your movement. Step or jump forward. Lengthen, this is in. Fold out. Chair in. Fold out. Lengthen. Little push up. Up dog, down dog, warrior one, warrior two. Big reverse, don't think a thing, half moon. Breathe in, breathe out, left foot down, chair. It's okay, fold forward, just go with it. Halfway lift, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, left foot warrior one, warrior two, big reverse, no thought process, half moon, don't worry about how fancy it looks, just go in, breathe in, right foot down, chair. Well done, fold forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog, right leg up, bend, stack and open, hold or flip your dog, do what your body needs, not what your ego needs, 
breathe. One more. Reach up, side plank, right arm goes down. You know, I have people to sing with me today. Lift your left leg up. Da 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 da. Wild thing. <laughs> that was very unenergetic. Breathe in. Chaturanga. Hopefully, Rogers is more energetic on the other end. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Ah. Everybody take a breath. And out. Left leg up. You'll bend, stack, and open. Same options on this side. Flip dog. One more breath. Breathe it out. You'll reach up. Go over side plank. Left arm down. Keep breathing in the poses. Your drishti goes up. Right leg goes up. Na, 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 na. That was a little better. Breathe in and out. Inhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog into crescent lunge, right foot forward. Reset. Breathe. Connect to the floor. Ease in your jaw. Shoulders pull back. You're using your upper back muscles to do that. Zip up, pubic bone to belly button. Twist right. Gaze over your right shoulder. Breathe in. Twist. Breathe in. Twist. Last one. Empty it out. Stay low in your hips, warrior two. Big fat reverse. Straighten your front leg. <sighs> Extended side angle lunge. You choose elbow to thigh, front or back of your right foot. You know, I usually go to the outside of my right foot. It's what helps me abduct or wrap my right hip under. It's a tool. You may need a different tool. Read your body. Do add energy in both feet. Do add pulling both shoulders on your back. Take a big reach over your left ear, breathe in. And then take it down, low push up. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg crescent lunge. Some breaths to set, to calm. And you have some options here. So you're either reaching straight up, your cactus arming, or you're doing thumb over thumb and opening the chest. Twisting crescent lunge. Use your breath, empty. In, left hip down. Right hip up. One more breath. Breathe it out. Stay very low, warrior two. Big reverse. And straighten your leg. Go right in, extended side angle. This side does not have to look like the other side. Change it up as you need. Drishti up towards your right hand. Full breathing in, out. Reach over your right ear. Keep twisting open, breathe in. 
out. Last one, take it down, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Walk your feet halfway up your mat, feet together. Five leapfrogs, you'll land in chair. Go, one, two, three, four, five, chair, twist right. Breath, press into both feet. One more, fold forward, separate your feet, grab your big toes, lengthen, fold. Use the energy to, from your hands to your toes to pull yourself down. Allow complete ease in your hip flexors by squeezing quads. Release your toes, bring them back in, lengthen your spine, fold, chair. Now twist left. Diligence with your hips, you drive through your feet, press down now with your feet, pull right hip back, press down, keep left knee and hip stable. Ujjayi, wrap your right shoulder under your left. Stay, last one, fold. Step your feet out, gorilla. You can stay in gorilla if you need to recover or take your hands to the floor, heel toe your feet in for crow. You can do a crow prep instead. Crow prep, you just come to the ball mounds of your feet. You start to bring your knees way up into the armpits and you just kind of shift weight in and out or you take the full version. Three, two, last breath in. Shoot it out, up dog, downward facing dog, spring forward, lengthen, bow, rise, eagle right side. Just keep moving, keep moving. Set your drishti, use your breath. Extended mountain. Left side, just keep moving. Elbows lift, shoulders back. Zip up, pubic bone to belly button. Empty, extended mountain, right side. Extend, left side. Extend, right side, go Macy. Extend, left side, extend, hands to hips. Standing leg raise, knee or full extension. You choose what you need today. Ujjayi, drishti set forward, lift your left arm straight up. 
Take your leg out to the right, take your left arm out. When you're ready, shift your vision. I have a great drishti today. Tanya's gorgeous back. One more breath. I made her on balance. Come back to center, <laughs> reach up. Take it back into airplane. Be really nice and methodical. Press into your left foot. Keep lifting your shoulders back like a straight. You're trying to kick with your heel behind you. Three, two, hands to chest, pause, nothing else. Standing split, you're gonna hinge forward. See if you can get a little stretch in the left hamstring. From the floor, you can expand the floor with your block, open up, half moon. Second time you're here, it may or may not feel different. Give it permission to feel different. You can bind this time if you want, catching your foot or your ankle and keep opening it up. In, out, two more, out, in. On your out breath, foot goes down, you rise. You've got this, hands to hips, left side. You're doing great. Right arm up. Take it out to the left, right arm to the right. Drishti, right? This one's not quite as good for me. Come back to center. And it's really interesting how the mind does that. It goes into a story about what I'm seeing. My work is to take the story out, go to airplane. It's just what you see. Everything doesn't need an explanation. You just see it for what is there without interpretation, intellectualizing, judging. Hands to chest, nothing else. Lift your upper back. Unsteadiness is okay. Hinge forward for standing splits. Get a little stretch in the right hamstring this time as you fold over. Power stays in the left leg. It's that tug of war that will give you a bigger stretch, bigger opening, and then go half moon. You're lifting with your left leg now. You're reaching back with your heel, lifting, lifting, lifting with your outer thigh. The bind is there, do it. Press down, let me see. Stay. Ujjayi. Breathe. Right knee and hip under. One more. Foot goes down. If you see your strap, grab it, rise. And dancer with a strap or your right hand. Keep your drift to your gaze forward as much as you can. And go five, four, three, Two, last breath. Switch sides, keep your vision forward if you can. Go by feel as much as possible. Three more. Ujjayi breath, please. Last one, and you'll switch. So if you're falling out before you're complete, instant forgiveness and come right back. If you're stopping a breath short, stop it. Stay. Falling out, there's instant forgiveness and come back. Don't quit. 
four. Keep working it, elbows up, three. Lift, two, stay. It's okay to get sloppy, full breath. Now switch, good. There's gonna be a shift and a transition when you stay. Four, shoulders on your back. Three, front of the pelvis lifts. Two, your fullest expression and release. Mountain, just reset. Mountain, hands by your side. Gaze forward. Right foot tree. Hold your gaze. You can take your arms up. You can lift your gaze. Last full Ujjayi breath. Hands to heart, foot down. Left side tree. Hold your gaze. What if you don't watch your foot? It'll still move. It does every day. Most of us don't walk looking at our feet. Most of us. You can expand whenever you're ready. Shoulders on your back. Press your palms, shoulders on your back. Nice, foot down, hands to chest, meet an extended mountain, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Ah. Lengthen your spine, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Right foot, warrior one for three. Two, press in your back foot. Last breath. Open warrior two, three. Triangle pose, any way you like. You can do the reverse, you don't have to. As T-Funk says, you do you boo. You got it. Full expression in your breath, breathe in and out. In, out. Last one. And breathe out, you'll bend your front knee, turn your feet to the left. You can do an arm bind, lengthen and fold. Or you can take your hands down between your legs, whatever you like. Use your shoulders wrapping on your back to lift up halfway and then all the way up. Turn your feet, right hand to your right thigh, reach up, go forward. Left hand down, twisting triangle. Three, two, Last breath, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one, three breaths. Root into your back foot. Two. Last inhale and exhale, open up warrior two. 
triangle pose. Just always quick little check-ins with the front foot. You'll wanna turn your middle toes to 12 o'clock. Really press into your foot. I almost always have to find an adjustment here. Breathe. Left shoulder pulls under the right. From the grounding in your feet, the lift in the pelvis, you can rotate open, 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 and come up, pyramid. Reach your right arm forward. Can you guys still hear me? Okay. Thank you. And then down and we'll twist open. Three, two, last one. And hands down, chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog and breathe. Inhale into high plank. And lower down five, four, three, high plank. You're welcome. Lower down five, four, three, use your legs, high plank. This time all the way to the floor. Place one ear down. Turn the other ear down. Come to center, integrate your shoulders onto your back, press the pubic bone down, lift up, locus. Three, two, last breath. You're gonna drop down, exhale. Go back up, locust. This time you can evolve it. You can take one ankle or both ankles for bow. Locust. And floor. Breathe in. And out. Use the locust as your building block. Come up. And then one foot or two feet for bow. Five, four, three, lift, two, work for it, last one. Don't quit on me and come down. Not quitting on me, you're quitting on you actually. Don't quit on you. Hands by your side, work your way into upward dog with shoulders wrapping on your back. I'm just gonna tell you, I actually love my sweat mark. I look like a really big breasted, <laughs> thin woman, <laughs> my sweat mark. <laughs> One more breath, down dog, you needed to know that. I kind of look like a mermaid, actually. Knees down for camel. I mean, I believe in mermaids. <laughs> Macy has no breasts on her sweat mark. And you can't see, Tanya doesn't sweat. Okay, reach up and go. <laughs> Open for three, two. Oh, come up, one. You'll take a seat, get a drink. And after you've had your drink, 
hands on your thighs, gaze forward. Hey, Macy, sit up. Close your eyes. Take a big Ujjayi breath in. Open your mouth. Camel number two. Gently come up, go to downward facing dog. Breathe in, you'll breathe out and jump forward, come straight to your back. Press into your feet immediately, go right up into bridge. Right now, walk your feet in so that your heels are right in line with where your femurs come out of your pelvis. So most people will set up too wide. Check it out. If you have long enough arms, reach down and place your hands on the inside of your ankles and create some resistance. You press out on your ankles as you hug in a bit with your thighs. Take a deep Ujjayi breath. As you exhale, you're gonna roll down. Good, now breathe in. You're gonna breathe out, tighten the corset and press up into bridge. And then add your arms to wheel if it's there for you. I don't want you to use your ego though. I want you to go into wheel because it's something that feels empowering and strong and makes space in your body, not because somebody thinks you need to, right? Just because your body needs it. Breathe in. You'll tuck your chin and roll right down nice and easily. Roll down, be careful, be mindful. Breathe in, breathe out, press back up, bridge. You've got it. Heel to your feet in, Macy. And then add your arms if you're ready, right? Not for ego, for body, because it's what you need, because you're craving the space that you make. Good, breath in. Gently breathe out and tuck your chin and come right back down. Breathe in and breathe out, press up, bridge. Add your arms. Breath, tuck your chin, come down. Breath in, breath out, last one. Do what your body needs, go up, bridge. And powerfully, if you use your arms, use them, press down, go up, open the chest, open the front of the body, breath, tuck your chin all the way down. Take a second, maybe take your knees side to side, windshield wiper, and then butterfly pose, feet together, knees out. Hug your knees into your chest. Happy baby. Bring your knees together. Press your feet toward the ceiling. Squeeze your thigh bones, thigh muscles to the bones. 
and release your hands behind your head with flex feet, just pulse up. So really pulling the low belly down as you pulse up, trying to curl the ribs to the uh, pelvic bones. Five, four, three, two, hold it up. Your right foot drops down. Now you can keep it fully extended, which I think looks really cool. If I take my foot down to the floor though, I can engage and get more belly. You do what you want, 10. Really pull a nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If your foot's on the ground, you're gonna reach it long, hold, three, two, one, switch. Left leg reaches, and then pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, Reach through your feet. Five, four, three, two. Left leg extends, hold. Five, four, three, two. Both legs up. Take your hands underneath your low back. Lower your legs one third of the way. Draw in. Like I'm pulling in, I'm pulling. I'm trying to get the two my two iliac crests on the side of my pelvis, like up to my ribs. Lower one more time. Take them to a hover. Keep your shoulders on the floor, but tuck your chin in. Three, two, one, back up. We're gonna do it all again. Lower one third of the way. Now really pull in, like you're trying to reach the pelvic bones toward the ribs, pull in like that. Go one third more, <sighs> breathe. Squeeze your thigh muscles. Go to the hover, just chin to chest. Five, four, hug in three, two, all the way up, oh. Rock up into boat. 10, nine, eight, seven, Rock up and back, down dog. Half pigeon. You choose which leg goes first. Be intentional in your setup so that you can create opening and not stress. your favorite transition to the next side.
try that on, take a really, really deep breath in, kind of hold it at the top for a second. And then let it out. Double pigeon. Just bring your back leg around. Transition a few breaths into the other side, double pigeon. up to frog, either face down or face up. And stay with Ujjayi breath. that intentionality, everything else should be coming down, relaxing the face, take away any holding that's left. See if you can come to ease. halfway if there's anything you need to change or adjust oh my gosh sorry about that you keep staying in frog and I'll fix this I like this song but that was not the intention stay in breathe
Last five breaths. And gently transition out, meet on your seat. Tuck your right foot into your left thigh. Give yourself a big reach and fold. Two more breaths, pull in. And come up, switch sides. Extend both legs out. Hug the muscle to the bone and pull your thighs into the pelvis and reach up. Now pull yourself over bent knees and then slowly relax the tension and fold in. Come up. Hands go behind for tabletop, reverse tabletop or reverse plank. Straight or bent legs, lift up, let your head and neck drop back, back, back. <sighs> One more breath. And then gently, you'll come down. Go into fish pose, you'll tuck your hands underneath your low back. And then a natural transition into shoulder stand. Unwrap. Flex your feet, squeeze your thighs, and reach your heels up. Pose. <clears throat> A really gentle rollout. Yeah, but you're hung up the lead. Happy baby. Baba Hanuma. Yeah, but you're hung up the lead. Jay Hanuma. Sun got the motion. From Happy Baby. Take a yoga twist. You can extend your left leg, hold on to your right knee, or go knee over knee. Hips go shift to the right as you twist left, keeping the spine in the long line. Look over your right shoulder. Side. 
come through center. Take a breath and go the other way. You can let your eyes close. Transition from Ujjayi breath to a full inhale and exhale. Maybe your mouth is open. Less efforting. Gently come back to center. Give your legs a little squeeze. Soles of your feet together, knees out for butterfly. Let your arms go by your side. Let your entire spine, torso sink into the floor. Let go of any facial tension.
<clears throat> deep in your breath. And then you breathe into your chest. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to everyone, the daughters, the mothers, the dads, 